Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Ramsey Custom Shop. My name is Gary. One of the things that I get asked a lot across all my videos, when you have a thousand videos on YouTube, people see things on videos that are a year, two years old, three or four years old, and they're like, hey, we're, what about this? And what about that? And, you know, uh, one of the things I get asked a lot are these little squares that you see me using quite a bit in, in the videos. And these are from Bar Z Industrial, Stan Zinkowski. He's got a YouTube channel. Uh, I just noticed a little while back that he actually is offering a DIY, DIY kit on these. And he's got several different uh, configuration sizes. These just happen to be the 4590 uh, configuration and they're the two inch ones. I bought these probably two years ago from him. And uh, they're made from, you know, he makes these out of steel, uh, billet steel. And um, they're, they're hardened and precision ground if you, if you buy the finished ones from him. <clears throat> if you buy the DIY kit, you do your own final uh, finishing on them. But he's giving you a good deal on that. So I thought I'd just, you know, while I was showing those. And by the way, if you're interested in these, I'll have a link to uh, his he's got a playlist on a four-part series i'll have a link to the playlist and also his website at the uh, uh in the description so you can go check that out if you're interested in that but when you're doing any kind of layout work and you're trying to be very precise with it that's where these you know kind of come into play and i wanted to show uh this this type of square here as well um honestly these are not marked and i do not remember the brand name of these but these are also um a, a high quality square you know not something that you can go to home depot and buy um and i believe these are used in woodworking this particular brand more often than not and um you know so if you're if you're trying to get a measurement you know two inches in from the end um and you want to be as accurate as possible you know so we're going to set this on two inches there and you know the normal thing you know people would do is you know, hold this on the end, I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way so you can see. You can see what you end up with is a really wide line trying to use a Sharpie to mark with. <clears throat> Hopefully that's showing up good there. Um, that line is probably 3 16ths of an inch, 8th inch wide, whatever. So depending on where you actually cut on that line, you could get you know a wide range of results in terms of accuracy of your cut. So the one thing I try to do is... Um, I'm going to try to get this where you can, you know, where my hands aren't in the way and you can see it. So I'm going to take this same uh, square here, place it on there, and I, this is a carbide scribe. So I'm going to place the carbide scribe right at the end of it and hold it there, remove the square, and I'm going to place the Stan Zinkowski Z square on here and get it, get the fence of this side butted up against the edge so we have it square. And then I'm going to push it into <clears throat> where I held that. Now I'm just going to scribe a line there. So now we have a very accurate, hopefully that's, you can see that. Yeah, it's showing up in different spots there. Probably glaring off the camera. So it's a much, much more accurate. In fact, you can see, um, I don't know if you can see that, but right here is the is the line here you know just how much it gets off when you try to use a sharpie because of the fatness of the sharpie and where you place it and and all that but it's a good eighth inch off and then you got the eighth inch width of it it's just you know this is just a much better way to go so check out the stan zinkowski z, z squares and his diy kit um i've been really happy with these i've i've used them a ton again they're they're precision ground they're hardened uh, they're really cool things. I want to show you one other thing I get asked about a lot as well. And that is this uh, Lust Square. Now, if you watch Jody from Welding Tips and Tricks, you'll see that he fairly often features that in a video, shows it in a video being used. Um, it is uh, really handy for a lot of different things. 
uh, because it's got this two inch wide uh, base here, much, much wider than your standard, you know, what a lot of squares come with. And where it comes into play, you know, for a lot of different reasons. Um, one of them is, you know, you could use this as a vertical square. Let me slide that through. And, and that'll sit on a table really flat. So now you have a squared up edge, you know, that you can uh, level it and square it by. You can tell my table is not exactly level from the bubble there. But um, so you got that you can use it with. But the main thing I use it for, and, and a lot of people do, is when you have thick walled tubing, you know, just regular square tube, uh, because of the thickness, when they form this, you end up with a large radius. Now, this is not as noticeable as some because this is 3 16th wall. You know, when you get to the thicker, even the thicker walled stuff, like half inch wall, you know, tubing or whatever, it's got a really big radius on it. And if you take one of these regular squares and try to, you know, get, get a, that one's just sort of working, but, you know, it wants to, you see how it kind of wants to teeter back and forth? Well, this thing will give you really positive uh squaring against the against the surface because it's got so much more length down here to reach past where that radius is so and i think jody still sells these on his his website uh at weldingtipsandtricks.com if you want to check that out that's called the la square you can see the brand name of it there all right and the last thing i just thought i'd show you real quick is this little miniature hammer and uh this is kind of interesting it's got a you know a lot of people have never seen one of these before but this has got an interesting feature that's almost like kind of like a jackhammer action and um you know like you guys have seen a a jackhammer or you know one of these uh things here little air hammers and um but this little hammer has got the same kind of uh action to it and what you have to do is um if if you on the if you count to three and on the third hit, um, if you do the timing right, this will this will actually turn right into one of those. So let me show you that. So one, two, three. See, I mean that's kind of cool, isn't it? Thanks, guys. See you.